Today we're out here in beautiful Bastrop, Texas. We're right here along the Colorado River and, and just check this out around us. Look at this beautiful trail, beautiful view back here. I mean, this trail comes from uh, just a park right up, right up the trail up there and it has a lot of amenities, a lot of things for kids to do, very family friendly. Uh, but this trail just runs all uh, right here by the Colorado River and just you know, one of the great spots about here in Bastrop, Texas. Yeah, miles and miles of it. If I spin around, you can see you got a lot of shade, which today it feels pretty good. If you're yeah. out in the summer, you're definitely gonna appreciate that shade. Beautiful weather today. But look, Bastrop is kind of a historic town. It's a smaller Small town. town. Uh -huh. And so, you know, growing. maybe it is growing. So maybe you haven't heard of it, maybe you have. But either way, if you're looking for something on the east side of Austin, you definitely should be considering it. And that's what I wanna show y'all here in this video. Just some of the things uh, that you can enjoy and check out here in Bastrop. I wanna show you a few of those because like I said, we're only about, I say 30, 35 or so minutes, maybe yeah. 40 with traffic from downtown. Um, but hey, everything's growing out this way. The east yeah. side is booming. That's right. And what brings people here is uh, sometimes the uh, the homes. Yeah. So the, the available homes that are here, some of the home prices. And uh, right off the top of my head, I think I have two subdivisions that I would really like to share with all the viewers. And uh, they're very, very different. Okay. That's all I can say. All now. right, well, I'll tell you what, I'll let you go check that out. And while you're doing that, I'll explore a little more of the, the lifestyle, the downtown, some of the unique aspects of Bastrop. Awesome, I'll meet you there. All right, cool. <laughs> while he does that, I'm gonna work on going up all these stairs. So uh, I'll catch you off there on Main Street. So real quick, as much as I like making these videos with Jared, I would love it even more if we can help you move out here. So if you are interested, you have to call, text, email, anything it takes to get a hold of us so we can get you moved out here to Bastrop or anywhere in the ATX. Whew, that's a lot of stairs. All right, let's go. Okay, now that I caught my breath, we're up here on Main Street. So if you like a small town, you like a little downtown Main Street area, it's hard to find one much better than what you got here in Bastrop because you have pretty much everything you would want. And uh, I've even heard this kind of referred to as like almost a mini Austin. I don't, I don't know if they would like for me to say that, but I've heard other people say that because you've got all of those things here. You've got all your little shops, you've got your boutiques, art galleries, there's breweries down here, a lot of great little local different types of restaurants and pretty much everything you could think of, you've got it here and it's all local. So it's not the big corporate stuff, the chain restaurants, the chain shops, it's none of that. You got all local flavor and everything up and down. This beautiful main street, I mean, and you can come out here, they've got vendors that too will come out on the streets. Of course they have events, they have parades. It's small town life. All the stuff that you like in a small town, you can get it all right down here on Main Street. But as wonderful, as great as the Main Street is, and there's a bird up in the ceiling above this thing somewhere. I don't, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but hey, we're, we're in a small town. It is what it is. But as great as all this is, there's actually a lot more to it. Let's check in with Luis and see if he's ready yet for us at that first neighborhood. Jared, not quite, but I'm almost there. Just give me a few more minutes. Okay, well, since he's not ready, I've got another spot for us to check out on the other side. Now, another thing I really like about Bastrop here is how it is just really a lot different than from the terrain and really the trees that you're gonna find elsewhere. Uh, you're here, we call it the, the Lost Pines, and Bastrop is in the heart of, that's what it says on the water tower anyway, we're in the heart of the Lost Pines. So you have pine trees, and the reason they're called the Lost Pines is because they're kind of lost from the piney woods of East Texas. It, I, I guess the whole area used to be more piney and it kind of receded that way, but the conditions are just right here that you still have these pine trees and also a lot taller trees. You know, you got a lot, of, a lot of the shorter live oaks and things like that around the Austin area. Where here, you will have some taller ones. Now this pine tree in particular is not the tallest, but if you drive around Bastrop, uh, you will see some that are taller around here. And, you know, we're on the east side of Austin, east of the Austin area. And typically, if you're thinking of it, the west side is the hill country, the east side is not. It's not hilly over here. Uh, but right here in this area, and maybe this is this is why it was able to keep its pine population that it has. Um, you got a lot of hills, and as you drive through Bastrop and some of the neighborhoods, you just get some beautiful views as you're kind of on the top of those. So maybe you're not in the hill country, but maybe you kind of are a little bit. Maybe you're still kind of on the edge of over here, and get just a totally different look than you find anywhere else. And that's part of what they feature here at Bastrop State Park. Oh, and if you like this uh, outdoor, the, the woodsy feel that you can get around Bastrop, you're gonna love the first neighborhood that Luis is at and uh, he should be there by now. 
All right guys, so the first neighborhood we wanna show you today is Tahitian Village. Tahitian Village is just south of Highway 71 here in Bastrop, Texas. And as you can see, this one's already unique just because of all the trees behind us, all the natural scenery. You might notice some gravel roads. That's, uh, that's just because this neighborhood is, uh, is kind of a combination of graveled and paved roads as you can probably see right now. But some things that are very unique is just the homes here. Like look at some of the custom homes, not all the homes look the same. And that's because there's no big master plan communities or, or national builders here. All the builders here are local and uh, are independent builders. Uh, we want to show you maybe one that's still being built right now. This one's built by MG Bass Builder a builder here local in the bass shop area. And uh, I mean, one of the main things that I would say that's unique about Tahitian Village is just how it feels like you're in the countryside, yet you have all, you have the proximity and all the amenities of being close to the city of Bastrop. So definitely come and check this out if it's something that you might be interested in. All right, so the last time that I was in Bastrop, I'd already eaten uh, before I saw this place. I looked it up, they have great food. Okay. You actually showed me around today. So this is our, uh, our mid-video food review spot for today. Uh, Roadhouse, here in Bath. Uh, let's go check it out. All right, it was loud in there, so I couldn't do, uh, couldn't do my uh, ass beat. It's loud out here too. It is loud out here too, but I gotta tell y'all, the sourdough bun was great. I felt like the meat tasted good. I got the burger, bacon, cheese, jalapenos, fries. The fries were good too. I like that style of fries. I'm gonna give it the overall package. What I'll say, I think a seven eight. I'm gonna give it a seven seven eight. What you got the real chicken, the avocado. I don't know where that truck to go. Bacon. That's on me. I forgot. Yeah. You gotta get the bacon. Get the bacon. Get the bacon when it comes to places like this. But no, I ate for me. Okay, solid eight. There you go. Come check out the Roadhouse. Now, in case you got concerned earlier when I was talking about all the local stuff that you have downtown that's not the national big names, uh, you know, you do have those here too. They're up here on Highway 71. So you can see all around me, you've got all these, all your big name box stores, your chain restaurants, your fast food. You got it all here in Bastrop, which is kind of cool having that small town vibe down there. Uh, and you still got all the big name stuff that you're used to, stuff you recognize up here. And in addition to the national stuff, you've got some great Texas favorites too, like Waterburger, your HEB Plus. And how can I come to Bastrop without mentioning you actually have a Bucky's here. In addition to that, we've got even more coming as we head out on the west side of Bastrop towards Austin. You've got some more stuff. That's in the Colony area uh, where they're building even more commercial development. And uh, the Colony actually is a big neighborhood. That was the other one where Luis is going. So uh, yeah, let's check in with him again. All right, so now we're here in the colony. The colony is just off of 71 and we're now in the west side of Bastrop. So we're a little bit closer to Austin, a little bit closer to Tesla. I think we're only about 30 minutes away from Tesla, really. This community here, as you can tell, a little bit of change of a scenery from what we saw earlier at Tahitian Village. Uh, this is a more of established community, a little bit more of on the, on the higher end, a lot more amenities. Obviously you can tell paved roads as opposed to gravel roads where we're at. But this uh, is pretty much divided into two sections. Right now we're standing in the gated uh, portion of the colony. Homes here are gonna be a little bit more on the pricier end, 600, 700, you'll find some even higher than that. Larger homes though, obviously. Now on the other side, we do have the area that's not gated, but that's where we're finding all of the new construction homes, the homes that are being built by the, all these national builders. You'll see Scott Felder, Weston, Gian. Today though, we spoke to our buddies over there at Perry Homes. Now Perry Homes did have a lot of information to give us as far as inventory, what they have. We walked into a home today, a home that was priced at 450s, they're bringing it down to four, in the 420s. So definitely a lot of incentives for people who want to get into homes here at the end of the year, if that's something that you might be interested in. Another thing that I like here about the colony is the amenities that are available to, to, the, to the residents here. There's obviously a school here, an elementary school, freshly built, uh, so many parks and walking trails here for the residents. And so I think this is gonna be a great area if you're looking for, for a master plan community, whether you're looking for larger lots, which is where we're standing in right now, or something a little bit smaller. And even if you're looking at the smaller ones, they're only about 
45 foot lot. So they're still pre pretty decent. And you're looking at great quality homes here in the colony, here in Bastrop, Texas. All right, well, there's a lot of uh, variation there, Luis, yeah. for those neighborhoods. Hope you guys liked the, all the information we had to offer. I mean, there's just so much to, to, uh, to Bastrop, as you can tell. Uh, we'd like to know what your favorite part about it, or what yeah. would make you make that move yeah, to which, Bastrop. Which one of those neighborhoods would you pick, and what's your favorite thing here about Bastrop? Obviously, there's a lot more than we can cover in one video. So if you want to see more videos about Bastrop and all the other areas around Austin, you got to get down there, hit that subscribe button, and click the bell. And reiterate again, you know, we love making these videos. We love it even more if we can help y'all make the move. That's right. So you have to hit us up. Call, text, email, anything it takes to get a hold of us to get you moved out of your Bastrop or anywhere in the Austin area. That's right, y'all. And uh, hey, in the meantime, uh, while we've got more videos coming out, if you want to see, you know, if you're looking at this area because you're coming to Tesla, or just something on the east side of Austin, you want to know some of the other places you can consider, check out the video right there. Uh, I covered a little more Bastrop and a couple other ones you definitely need to look at.